Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing bag toppers. This is a request by Kimberly. Hi Kimberly. And I had so much fun doing it because once upon a time when I had opened my shop, I used to do doily bag toppers um, on all my sequins and it wasn't exactly cost effective on my end <laughs> and it was very time consuming so I had stopped but it was just something really fun and I didn't do it really elaborate or anything. It was just, you know, little doilies. But I had a lot of fun doing this, Ooh, and I'm losing, losing my lettering, but um, this is just a, f I'm just going to show you and just kind of wing it in this video on how to make some bag toppers. I'm going to show you everything I use, um, typically if I make one. So I, what I did was cut out a bunch of, um, sorry, this was scrap and I used it, a bunch of uh, doily dies and circles. Now, I'm gonna show you everything I use. So I'm using the Sizzix circle dies for those who don't have doilies. And if you don't have circles, make one, <laughs> take a jar, trace it, and just cut it out, okay? Or cut out a rectangle. You don't need dies, you know, for circles. And my, these are very, like, I'm gonna go ahead and call these vintage Coco and Reno because I don't know if they still sell them anymore. I know that, uh, she was unsure of restocking them. So I do have to check if, uh, in fact, they are available or not. But these are my all-time favorite dies. So, okay. What I did is cut those out. Now, it's too easy to make bag toppers look good. And you don't have to make them crazy elaborate. I mean, you see I just put a string and a bow and it just looks really cute. So here's two ways you can do this. Um... You can take your circle, and if you have like a scallop die type thing like this, what you can do is you can layer it up. Let me use something that's contrasting. You can layer it up like this to give it an effect of like a ruffle behind it. So as you get, so this one, that's what I did here. I just simply folded it and glued it on top of each other, and I taped this down, and I'm using these uh, clear, frosted cookie bags. I Once upon a time, I used to sell cookie bags galore, and this was like something I literally found in my stash from a long time ago. So I don't know exactly where they might have these now, but I'm just using it because I think AliExpress has them. But um, that's how I got this effect on here. Okay, and then otherwise, what I just typically do is just fold it in half on top of the bag. I'll just take this and fold it directly in half. And then close this bag up and I just tape it on like that. Or you can staple it, whatever's quicker, faster, easier for you. So we'll just start with these two bags, I guess. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something. This is, if you've been following me for a long time, this is a very, very, very old um, picture that I have. And what I had done is uh, I had planned on putting this in a kit and I loved it so much. I just kept it <laughs> You know, I'm sure you guys have done the same but um, I Just what I had done is I glued I just took like, you know Just a square and I scalloped it and I added these fake flowers on it and these cabochons and I glued them on and I thought it came out so cute and I just layered up double bags so if like you're doing a swap this is a fun way to um give someone something like I mean I don't know if people still use cabs like they used to but it's just a fun look that I really liked then <laughs> so anyway okay when I'm doing these things I will use various things like um these bows you I'm sure you guys have dyes with bows because we are all obsessed I'm using specifically my Coco Arena ones because it came in a whole bunch of sizes. This is probably my second favorite that um, they had done. So usually with that, you can just do something so simple. I mean, literally just putting a bow on your bag will add um, so much to it. If I can get this glue out. Like this, okay. And then what I had also done is I cut out a few tags from my new lawn fawn that I had in my haul. 
So I had these cute little tags that I got from Lawn Fawn. And they are these ones that I showed the other day. And what I did was I took my gold color box stamp and I used the uh, little stamp set with it. And I stamped it on here and I thought it came out so pretty. It says for you in gold. I didn't want it in black because I felt like it's kind of a soft look. So I'm simply going to take this tag and this gold, um, using some gold twine. I use gold and, I use rose gold and gold on these bags. So I'm going to wrap it around. I hope this is not too short. Did I pick a short? I think I need a different string. Let me make a longer string here. I kind of picked up a scrap, but I don't think that's going to be long enough. I mean, chunky, I see a lot of people doing like pretty little chunky labels, and I don't, uh, I'm not good at that stuff, so I do simple, and it still looks really pretty. You don't have to like make the heaviest topper to make it look adorable. You can just do some really simple things. Oh my, I cannot tie, I can't tie today, I'm sorry. All right, there we go. So, and I feel like twine makes everything look beautiful. So just right there, I mean, even like that, it's so cute. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some chipboard on here. I'm using the crepe paper again, the um, snowflake. So I'm just going to add just some stuff. I mean, in there, right there, just like two things, it makes it look so cute already. Okay, so there's like one, and then this one, I wonder if this will look good on it. This was that tag from the collection. This might be too big. Yes, that's way too big for that. Okay, so let's see what else we got. I had made a little of that embellished tag. I feel like that could go on there, but that's kind of big too. I'm just winging it with you guys. I feel like this is just gonna have to have another tag. Maybe one that's the rose gold. for a second. I'm going to have to put this lower so it doesn't bother that bow. Okay, now I'm making these strings way too long to where I can't even twine them. My scissors, no, I think this is the first dull pair that I've had. Ah, this tag is just not working for me. Okay, I'm gonna definitely have to cover that up because I don't like the way that just looks like that. So I'm gonna leave this and let's see what we can find. Maybe I can lower this. It doesn't want to attach. I think I'm taking this off. I'm not a fan of this. 
See, I do make mistakes, but I'm just going along as I go. So let me see what this looks like. I actually like it like that. And you can put some stuff inside. So it's a bag topper slash cover. So there's like two right there. Let's make one more. Let's see what happens with this one. Maybe I can use that tag. Um, what is this one? Since we don't have this pattern yet. Just gonna tape it. How long this video is going to be it's just me like totally trying to wrap twine and tape i feel like that star would look pretty on this one let me see aha we found one i'm sorry i'm gonna have to tie it again This one was too easy to make though. I'm gonna see if any of the chipboard will go with it. Okay, this is too long. I can't believe my scissors actually doling out. I've had these for a long time. Okay, let's see. This holly berry, it looks perfect with it. It's too low. I need something else. No. Maybe another star. I always like something big with just like a little touch of something else. Oh no, my chipboard. I always rip it. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I rip the sticker and I don't get to use it. And this glue keeps drying up on me too. I forget to put the cap on. Does anyone else do that? It's really annoying. Okay, so there's like three bags. It's too easy to make this come to life. As long as you're not struggling with uh, tape or twine like I am. But those are just three ideas. And then you see, I mean, this one I literally just stuck the sticker on. This one just has a bow. And this has, I used that clip um, that I had made and added a star in that. But um, I think I could just do this all day and keep going. But I don't know if you guys are going to want to watch me keep going. So I feel like I should stop. But um, you know what? I'll make one more. I'll wait, make one more just because I want to use that tag that we had started. So let's see how it turns out. I'm going to do this. I'm going to use this uh, top. I'm being a good sport today. I was trying to end the video, but I know some of you like to do the decorating things. So let's see if we can use this. And honestly, okay, my son, he um, disrupted my last video I was doing this. <laughs> I was like, why? So really, I've been filming longer than this. Okay, let's see if we add this on. Oh, I wanna, I wanna show you one more trick too. And I shouldn't have added it on because what I did with my other one, here and this is a little loose but um okay before you add it on what I like to do is let's just pretend this is going to be the top is I like to go like this and make two little holes here and add ribbon to it and those are really small holes so that's how I made the little bow in the front and the other one so let me, I don't have ribbon next, oh wait, I have some right here. This is gonna fit. I don't know if it's gonna fit and I have a knot in it. 
Let's see what happens. I'm just taking some ribbon that I got from Michaels. And I'm just gonna slide it through so the ends are on the front like this. And that looks so ugly because the thing's sticking out, okay? And I will literally just tie it. And you have a nice little ribbon on the front. This might not be the prettiest bow, you guys, because I'm just rushing, but like this. So you have a pretty little bow. Hmm, I wonder if we can stack this. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. That's gonna match. See, I mean, we just do these things too easy as you go along. This is what will happen when I'm crafting. So we'll use this and we'll pop it on the top, just like the other ones, if I don't get glue everywhere. And you have that like lace still, but you have the other um, thing and I glued it too far to the side, but that's okay. And these I will definitely cut and trim a little bit. My bow is super wonky. And I probably would have um, put the tag on that because that looks kind of weird. Here, let me move this on this side. There's too much going on on this side. This, this tag is not gonna work with me today. This is something I should really refilm, but I'm just gonna let it be, and I'm gonna redo this tag real quick. Okay, I can get this right. I really want this tag to work with something. Okay, so let's pretend that worked. <laughs> so anyway, and then at this point, probably even just put a little um, thing on there just to make it look like pretty. I'm really bad at this bow thing, but that's okay. You have to like take it and do all this crazy stuff to make it look perfect. So I usually just tie it on. So anyway, ta-da! <laughs> and then you got this, you got all these pretty little things. It's too easy, you can make your own tag. Um, just some really nice ideas, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the struggle with me in this video. If it <laughs> was painful for me, I can't imagine how painful it is for you. All right. Thanks, you guys.